Aloha and welcome to Hi Now. Today we're going to be discussing resources to educate, inform, and update caregivers who are dealing with Alzheimer's here in our local community. We have Tony Viricella joining us here today. And uh, Tony, earlier we discussed um, the mild or early stages of Alzheimer's, mm -hmm. and today we're going to be discussing moderate to the late stages. So what should people be aware of? Well, the first thing is the middle stage or moderate uh, symptoms. This tends to be the longest stage and can last for many years. As the disease progresses, the person's gonna require greater and greater care. So it's during this middle stage, symptoms start getting more pronounced. Person's gonna get confused and could get angry physically, verbally. And because there's increased damage to the nerve cells in the brain, your loved one really can't explain what they're feeling, what they're going through, or even what pains they might have being forgetful of events and personal history. I mean, significant events in their life. This could be birthdays. Birthdays, when they got married, when their kids were born, and when they start losing not just the short-term memory, but the longer-term memory, you know things are progressing even farther and faster. During this middle stages, as the caregiver, you wanna really be aware of what tasks can your loved one actually do? and therefore break down any task into smaller increments and focus on it that way to give them the ability to try to be successful. So as we move into the later stages mm -hmm. of Alzheimer's, the caregiving will be more personalized, but typically what will people experience? Anything and everything becomes difficult. No activity of daily life can be inst instituted by them. You are literally doing everything for them. They can't eat on their own, drink on their own, go to the bathroom on their own, get in and out of bed. Their ability to move up and down or around is gonna be really tough. They'll walk much slower. Ultimately, in the late stages, they just won't be able to get out of bed. They won't be able to swallow. You know, everything is just gonna be gone in terms of that transmission. So, you know, during the middle stages and as well as late, as the caregivers, you really wanna investigate what are my options? Can I bring people in the home? Can I bring my loved one to a facility part of the day, all day? Because the caregivers need to get a break. Now what you've done, Tony, is you've compiled a resource for people to go to for anyone whose Ohana is impacted by right. Alzheimer's. Yeah, there's lots of resources on our website. It's alzcaregiving.org. A couple of sections that are focused on the managing of the caregiving itself. There's a section, uh, like we've been talking about today, focused on educating and informing the caregivers. And there's another section that deals with community support that podcasts, community groups, that sort of thing that caregivers can reach out to. What we always like to do with you, Tony, is, is to find the light and the positive in everything that takes place. Uh, what's your message of hope for our community today? Well, this one came from a, a retired social worker uh, for decades, uh, Nancy Christman. And she just says, you have to have a mantra, as she said, is to remember that the only control you have is over the changes you decide to make. Because your loved one has no more control over anything. They're not there to cause you problems. They're not trying to make your life difficult. They don't know what's happening to them. And so the only person that can adapt in this case is you. And how you adapt is going to determine how you live through it, mentally, emotionally, and physically.